So we just wired up the Adaptronic ECU. Here's Andy Wyatt. Um, going over initial parameters. Startup config. Just idling away. It's missing its rear pipes at the moment. to demonstrate uh, what exactly happens when you change the injector timing, is it? Injector timing, yep. So this is not making any changes to the injector duration, so the number of milliseconds the injector is actually open for. So it actually changed the field quantity, just the time within the, um, the 720 degree cycle that the injector actually injects. Um, so where we are at the moment, you can see that certain steps of the throttle, um, it actually falters a fair bit. With um, changing the injector timing, yeah, so it's out by 180 degrees. See, it actually picks up quite well with completely the same feel amount, just injecting at a different time. So that's one of the things that sort of um, can be quite important to try out correctly. Awesome. And you did that in, like, real time? Yeah, yeah. It's easy. You can um, the injector timing on the 1280 you can actually change as a function of um, engine speed and also the load. So um, it needs a different um, a different angle when you're on boost compared to on idle or that sort of thing. You can change that as well. And you can also enter in um, arbitrary map spacing points as well. So I'm not sure if you can see the screen there. But um, the um, RPM points I've got here are 0, 2000. Um, Just a uh, point to it for it. Okay. So 0. 2,000 RPM, 4,000, 8,000. And our load here is um, 50 kPa, so half an atmosphere of vacuum. 100 kPa, so ATMO. And um, 200 kPa, which is one bar of boost. Um, but if I decide that I want another point there at, say, 1,000 RPM, I can just go insert on zero from 1,000 RPM. And um, the extra point there. So I can change it just to 1,000 RPM if I want to. Um, those lines there show where the ECU is actually looking in the map at the moment, so when I put my foot down, you'll see that line go down to the bottom of there, and as the RPM increases, you'll see that vertical line move across into the higher RPM range. Like that, and I can also show you the same thing on um, the volumetric efficiency map. So I can show you this on the um, volumetric efficiency map as well, so again, this is um, load, and this is RPM. As you rev it, you can see the, um, the current load side you know, goes down and the um, RPM goes up like that. 